Donald, why do you think it's important uh, to take time out of your you know, life to hand out brochures to people and educate them on the fully informed jury association's materials? Well, I think that being a fully informed juror is an obligation we each of have to our fellow citizens and to ourselves. Mostly, actually, I think to our fellow citizens. Because until you understand the rights and the obligations of serving on a jury, you really need to just investigate and look at this because this is really maybe one of the most important things you can do in your life. Serving on a jury, determining whether or not one of your fellow citizens should end up spending time in, in jail is an is a extremely important uh, aspect of citizenship and one that just carries forward through everything that you do and all that you have as far as an obligation as a citizen of this country. If you, uh, uh, this, this obligation uh, with uh, being a fully informed juror is probably the most powerful position you will ever be in as a citizen of this country, it's short of running for our election uh, to a public office. And if, you know, it's, most of us will never do that, but we, almost all of us will have an opportunity to be on a jury at some point and to make determinations as to what happens to one of our fellow citizens is just an obligation that just cannot be uh, any more important. I mean, it's the most important thing you can do. Who is the most powerful person in your mind in the court uh, room? Well, there doesn't even, there's not even a question in my mind. If you are a juror in that courtroom, you are the most important person and the most powerful person in the courtroom. The government will bring an obligation, uh, the government has an obligation to, to uh, uh, defend the law and to make certain that the laws are upheld, and the judge has an obligation to uh, see to the, that you are uh, told of the, the facts that are brought, or the facts are brought out in an op appropriate manner and a, a legal manner, uh, that you know that you're informed as to what happened in, a, in an appropriate manner. But in the final analysis, the person that makes the decision as to whether or not this person is going to spend time in jail or be held as a criminal is the juror. The juror is the final authority. And that's just no question about it. And that is the most powerful position in the courtroom. Do you accept uh, that um, a juror can not only judge the facts of the case, but the law itself? Absolutely. The, ju the jury has a, the, the jury has a, the juror has a right and an obligation to make sure that this situation is uh, appropriate and to know uh, whether or not, in, in his own heart, whether or not this person is is guilty of a crime or whether the crime is, is something that is just not, that, that the law can be just manipulated to the point where any of us can be called criminals. Let me just give you one thing that I had heard and I really do believe that the Chinese are correct in this. What the Chinese say is pass a law, create a whole criminal class. Well that's certainly what's happened, for example, with our war on drugs and prohibition. And we have passed a law, we have created a whole criminal class. And it, you know, there's just dramatic proof and truth in that. And just, we are, you know, the, the only protection the citizen has is his fellow citizens on a jury. The reason you have that obligation and the reason you have that right in this country is because it's guaranteed to you by the Constitution.